Hey guys, welcome to this edition of Best Pals. We have a very special show this week. With me is Officer Ed Smith, and he is here to help open up our community cat room that he kind of headed up, and we're really excited to, to tell you all about it. Hi everybody. Um, first of all, I appreciate him uh, putting me kind of in charge of this, but not quite the way it happened. But what really happened was we had a new vision. We have a, a new director, and that director came in with a vision of, of creating this room and with a, a lot of team effort it really was um, some ideas were floated around and I simply said that I would try to find somebody to paint a mural in here um, I put out a, a, a calling to all the local schools colleges um, art groups to see if we could find some volunteers that may be willing to do that and two wonderful ladies from uh, McDaniel College I wish they were here but they happen to be on spring break so it's hard to feel sorry for them <laughs> but uh, Gwen and Manji uh, came in and they and we met and we talked about the vision for this room now the inspiration for this room um, Just wanted to go with the flow of not only the shelter which already been established here But with Carroll County in, in general and with that being said throughout the shelter There are other murals. We have murals of the Dell farm We have a mural that's that shows our pond that was that's here on our property. We have another one that shows the homestead um, so we kind of wanted to keep that same flavor and so I was thinking well let's make this like a barn the inside of a barn and that's where the vision sort of started uh, we went to the the president of the board uh, Ken and Louis Mays and they were wonderful enough to open up they have a wonderful barn on their property um, and they opened it up to us to come in and take pictures and we did we took some pictures and kind of use that as the inspiration that the wood is going to be similar to the wood that they use or the the color of the wood um, and then we then it was a matter of finding our flooring and uh, we went to several different sources we found a flooring that kind of looks like antique barn wood so that kind of kept that flavor going there's a few surprises it's not done yet like I said the young ladies are on um, spring break so when they come back they're going to finish the, the project there's a few surprises that we're going to throw in here um, to sort of honor a few things. Um, but the whole goal behind this was, and it's the goal of everybody that works here, and I, I can assure you of that, is to just make it such a friendly place to be, to come in and see animals and, and hopefully get them their forever homes. Um, it, it just looks more inviting. Um, we made it very um, interactive where people can come in and sit down and they can spend some time with the cats and they can play with the cats. I saw it as a possibility also, you come in to adopt a cat, you see two cats playing. Absolutely. Hey, two's better than one, you end up going home with two cats. So, Absolutely. And, and like I said, to a person here at, at the shelter, our, our goal is to just to adopt out as many, as many animals as we can to get them into these forever homes. And this is, this is the first of many projects that I hope to, to be coming um, forth. And, and, and it's been very exciting. And I, I've been, first of all, very honored that they allowed me to kind of design it. Um, I'm proud to be part of that team. And there's been a lot of effort that went into it um, from everybody. The animal care staff, they, they came in on their time and they put together the, the different toys and the things that you see around the room. Um, my daughter came in and painted a little bit. My wife came in and painted a little bit, the base coating stuff, because I couldn't paint my numbers, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> and then we had the artists come in and they kind of took our vision of what we wanted to see happen and made it a reality and Absolutely. Um, so we had a soft opening yesterday and what i mean by that is we had we put the cats in here and, and let the public know about it with the ultimate goal of having as you know a grand opening and hopefully invite out some people that really have been very responsible for this personally i'd like to thank our, our new director first of all and foremost uh, uh, charles brown i'm sure you've met him um wonderful 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 person i also like to thank our, our former executive director, uh, Nikki Ratliff, she's the one that kind of got the whole thing going. I mean, she's the one that established this. Um, she recently retired. Charles took over. He's going to expand upon hers. It's a team effort. Um, and I'd I like to thank the board. The board has been very generous in opening up the, the purse strings and said, hey, make this happen. We happen to have a, a president, Ken, that, that he's not going to do it. You know, he's not going to do it the cheap way. He's going to no. go the way that he knows that we get quality, we get our bang for our buck, and he's, he doesn't want to skimp on it. He wants to make it the right way. And so it just makes it more wonderful for the animals, makes it more, more wonderful for the, the staff um, and the employees here. 
um, I'm excited, very excited. Oh, absolutely. You know, it's like um, when we have cats come in here, we're not just bringing cats in and putting them right down. We have 11 cats in here right now, and all of these cats are, are five and older, and uh, they've, they've had all their vaccines, they've been spayed and neutered. A lot of them have weight issues, so it really helps out to get cats in here that need that exercise, which is just so crucial. And of course, we, um, when we introduce a new cat to the colony, uh, if you will, we, we make sure that everybody kind of gets along because, you know, cats are like people. Not everybody's going to get along. So far, so good. And, uh, you know, I'm, it's really cool to watch the cats come out of their shells in here and, and interact with, with the uh, public and, and us as staff. Um, and, and it also helps cats that might need some introduction to people and are not used to being around right. people. And, and they get in here and, and they realize that, hey, we're here to help you. Uh, so it's been wonderful. It, it's, um, it's cool the bonds you can build with, with the cats in here rather than in a cage as quickly as you can. Um, you know, you'll be in here for five minutes and you have three cats rubbing against your legs. How can you not like that if you're looking for a new pet, you know? So that's, I think, the ultimate goal here is just to boost those numbers and it's more interactive for, for, for the people and everything. And, you know, so far so good. Everybody's doing really, really well in here and uh, very happy to see that. And, for, and from my understanding and, and animal control officers, we, we typically enforce the laws of Carroll County and the state of Maryland. So we don't really have the determining factors of, of which, which cats come in here, but from my understanding, they're all being assessed very, very well to make sure that they do interact well. Some cats are not ready for that type of environment. So it's gonna be the best of the best. It's gonna be the ones that you, and, and I, I personally see it. I, I have no real expertise when it comes to different breeds of cats, but I see how relaxed they are in here and, and how much different it is and if, if you walk in this room and you don't feel good about what's happening, if you don't feel good about being around cats, uh, you're, you're really missing out on something because this is going to be special. And, and it's the first of many changes that are coming. And, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm proud to be part of it. And I, and I really think to a person that, that works here, we're excited for it. Um, we miss Nikki. Uh, I can tell you personally on a personal level, I miss her. Um, I'm lucky enough to be able to keep in touch with her outside of here. Um, and, but I've established a nice relationship with Charles, as we all have. He's, he's, he's got some visionary ideas. And um, there's a new energy in here. That, that's the thing that I really notice is there's this, this, there's this energy and there's this buzz around here, not only in here, but out in the community. And uh, I'm excited for it. I'm very excited for it. Yeah, me too. Me as well. Hey, you guys, we're going to take a quick break. I want to come back and showcase a couple of the cats we have in here and kind of show you if you were to come in, what you would be able to do with the cats. We'll be right back. Hey guys, we're back with this special edition of Best Pals. Hey, I wanted to showcase a couple of the kitties that we do have in here and just tell you a little bit about them. Some that came in here came in together. And uh, I think we have a set of three that came in together. I know we have a set of two that came in together. Um, the first cat that I'm going to showcase and tell you about it is a cat named Stitch, who I personally um, have had a bond with. And I know that sounds kind of cliche, but uh, he's really just taken to this room. And he is the first cat that, I mean, he just sells this room. He's always out. He always comes up. He loves to play. He's about a 20-pound cat, so he's a big guy. Um, and he's about eight years old, and he is a you know a tabby tiger type cat, um, neutered male, and he's just really really great cat. The reason he was surrendered was simply yeah you can pick him up Ed he's a he's an awesome he's an awesome guy. There he is. <laughs> he's just cool man. He's kind of like a bully breed in a cat. I mean he really he's <laughs> thick and you can really just play not rough with him but you know he he he'll do. I mean he's just he's awesome. Um, they had a baby and the baby was allergic to cats. We do get that quite often. You know, people surrender, surrendering their animals and we understand, you know, if you have a child, we totally understand the child's gonna come first and we get that. Um, so they did the best thing and they, they surrendered their animal and now we'll find it a great home where, you know, it, it can um, do really well and the, and the people aren't allergic to cats. We get um, some sob stories too. We have a gray haired, 
cat in here, a long-haired cat that's really, really sweet. Her name is Sophie, and she is four or five, I believe. And she, it, her owner passed away, uh, you know, and that's kind of a sob story, and it sounds sad. And our main thing that we can do for, for that cat is to, um, you know, get a great home for it because it's stressed out. I mean, animals do realize when they lose, you know, somebody that was in their life. And, um, you know, once we can get this cat turned over, she's just been, she's purring right now for Ed. Um, she's been really great here and she, she's kind of, she's kind of, she, th she thinks she's the cat's meow, to be honest. I know that sounds silly, but she really does. Um, and she's doing well in here. She, she, she likes the high, the high rise parts that we can get in here. And she loves to play and loves to, uh, to run around. We have some cats in here that are just kind of lazy and just they like to hang out. Um, Goliath, he always sits up in the window facing the office staff and he watches them all day long and he sits there all day long. We have some great cats in here available for adoption. The main reason that we don't have younger cats in here is that cats that we do have in here, we are healthy. They come in healthy. Our goal is to keep this room healthy. Um, you know, as you know, in kennel situations, uh, upper respiratory infections spread just like wildfire. So, you know, health is a major concern in here and you have to do it right. We don't want to skimp it. We don't want to, you know, not care about that just to get cats in this room. So we, we really uh, have been cherry picking cats, if you will, to come in here that we think would be, do really, really well in, in this room. Uh, but as you can see, I'm sure the camera has picked up. We have, uh, what is it, 10, 10, 12 litter pans in here. We got ample space. I mean, this is truly a, the Hilton for cats to, to stay, have a good stay in here. And they, they kind of expand upon that a little bit. A lot of this is from donations. Just Absolutely. getting the word out to the public that, Absolutely. hey, we're doing this. And, and there's been such a, an amazing uh, public support that they're sending in donations. I, I went out today to, to pick up an injured wildlife and we just had to talk to the lady about this room. And she gave us a check for $100. Uh, yeah, I that's heard that. Gonna go that's great. Way. It's going to go a long way. Um, and also to, to talk a little bit about the emotional side of things. Dave mentioned that one of the cats that we have came from an owner who passed away. Well, that person obviously loved this animal. And, um, and we have a responsibility. We have, we have a responsibility not only to that animal, but to that person to honor their, their dedication to that, to that animal. And, and the best way we can honor that person and, and the animal is to make sure they get back into another home that's a loving environment and they can continue their process um, until they pass over that rainbow bridge. And, 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 you know, when you hear stories like that, if you're looking for a cat, that's what I want. I want a cat that I already know that's been loved. Right. Um, but on the flip side of that, I, I, may want, I may want a cat that maybe wasn't so loved. And, and uh, they all deserve a chance. There's no one that's more valuable than the other. So, you know, I know, I know the, the care staff here take that very serious, that this cat was loved by somebody who's no longer with us. And, and we, have a, we have a duty. We have a, animal control officers have a duty to protect them. The animal care staff here has a duty to, uh, to make sure that they get into a forever home. And, and, you know, I've worked here for about three and a half years or so. And I can tell you to a person in here, that's our goal. That is, that is our goal. There may be different ideas to get us there. There may be some new, fresher ideas coming in to get us there. But that really is the goal of everybody here. And if not, then I, I wouldn't be doing this. And I know, speaking for everybody else, they wouldn't be doing it as well. Oh, yeah, I can second that, uh, definitely. You know, hey, guys, um, if, you're, if you're in town and, and, you know, we're right on Littlestown Pike, up 97, come out and check it out. If, even if you're not going to adopt that day, this room has been made for you to come up and, and socially interact with these cats. It's good for the cats, and to be honest, I think it's good for the people to, uh, you know, really see what your community is doing uh, with regards to animal control and animal care in, in our county. Uh, we'd love to see you. We have some chinchillas right now, guinea pigs. We have, we just had a bunch of, a litter of rats come in. So we have 15, 20 rats available for adoption. Of course, we have the cats in here. There's 11 in here, and we have a whole other room of, of some younger cats and some um, other cats that are also available for adoption. And we have just a slew of great dogs right now. If you're looking for a fun, active dog, I know the weather's getting nice. If you want a running partner 
we do have some great, excellent um, dogs that would make great running partners, some awesome bully breeds, and we get a little bit of everything here. So come down and check us out, you know. We, we, uh, we are always here. Come in and say hi, ask for Dave. I'd love to meet you. And, um, you know, welcome to our new cat room. Thank you for, for helping us out. Thanks for all the community support. And uh, we're going to wrap up our show. For Ed Smith, I'm Dave. We'll see you right, next, right here next time on Best Pals. Thank you.